I don't know how to say. This is just way too many cables, but I was just kind of joking around with how many cables trying to find the right one. But it is annoying to have cables around. Now with wireless CarPlay, you won't have to worry about any cables whatsoever, unless if you want to charge your phone. What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be installing wireless Apple CarPlay in my Toyota Corolla today. I was sent this product from AutoCast, and I've been using this for the past almost three weeks, and I have no complaints about it. It is really nice to have, and it eliminates the wire, so it gets rid of the whole mess in the dash and everything like that, so you don't even have to worry about that. And you literally just get in, it'll auto-connect, and then you don't have to worry about it. So I'll be showing you how to install this. It's very simple. I mean, it comes with some instructions, but you don't even need them. And it comes with a dongle, the wireless dongle. Then it comes with a USB to USC connector, short, like six inch cable. And then it also comes with a USB to USC connector, just in case. I know a lot of modern cars have Apple CarPlay and they plug in with the USB-C. That'll be nice so that we don't have to worry about buying an extra little dongle for that all right let's get started all right and guys before we get this video started don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel and share the video we're getting very close to 1,000 subscribers so if you can just subscribe to the channel let's see how fast we can grow and get to 1,000 subscribers real quick and let's get to the video since i have an aftermarket android radio i have a aftermarket auto kit dongle that i plug everything into so i'll just disconnect my USB for my phone. Get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. So you'll plug in the USB-C to the dongle and then you'll take the USB and plug it into the dongle in here. And then now that we got everything all connected up together, this is all plugged in. Which again, this is very small, so it's going to be easy to tuck away. I'm just going to tuck mine up into my glove box over here. You'll never see it. And then we'll start by opening up the AutoCAD app. All right, then when we get to this screen right here, we're gonna go to our Bluetooth on our phone. And then we're gonna find what it says. Auto KI EA85. EA85. Click it, let it connect. Use CarPlay. And then on the screen, it'll show connecting. And there you go. It's that simple to get wireless CarPlay on your Android radio or even factory radio. This says it's meant to work with any factory car that comes with Apple CarPlay. You'll be able to just plug it up and it'll work with that. But since I have an aftermarket radio, I need to make sure I have my auto kit dongle working or plugged in. So then I plug that into it. I originally thought that this dongle was an Apple Play, Apple CarPlay dongle, but it's not. You have to buy an Apple CarPlay dongle for an Android radio first, and then buy this as an adapter to get wireless CarPlay. So don't buy this thinking you're going to get strictly wireless CarPlay, because this does not have CarPlay on it. It only makes your previous CarPlay wireless, so just keep that in mind. I originally thought this worked without the dongle, but you need to have the auto kit or CarPlay dongle to work with the wireless. I haven't had any complaints for the past two weeks since I've been using this. The only thing I would say is you just gotta get used to is when you like play and pause and skip to the next song, there's like a five second delay. I wouldn't say five, maybe like three to five second delay on the unit. Um, so that's something that you might have to just get used to. So once you hit play, or pause it takes about three to five seconds in order for it to kick in so that's one thing that, that you got to deal with when you have no wire to, to connect to this so there is a slight delay which I'm not going to complain it's very convenient not to have any wires hanging out and it makes the car a lot cleaner so that's the only complaint I would really say about this unit is that there's just a, a small delay on don't forget I'll be leaving links down below to order this product if you want it's a great product to have. Thanks to AutoCast for supplying me one to try out, and I love it. I've tried it in both my cars. It's great. It works in my Toyota Camry. I got it in my Corolla now, and I love it. So if you want to get one, the link's down below. 
AutoCast usually always has deals going on. If you're trying to save a little money, there's probably a deal going on right now. You'll save probably 20 bucks or something like that when you order it. All right, well, thank you guys for watching the video. That shows you how to install wireless CarPlay in your car. I mean, this will work for any Android radio that supports CarPlay or any factory car that or OEM car that comes with CarPlay. And all you have to do is just plug this dongle in and you'll get wireless CarPlay and then connect it to your Bluetooth. And then every time you get in, it'll auto connect to it. And then you don't have to worry about any wires or anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.